Hey guys, it's Tara with Vintage Gypsy. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to be doing a vintage jewelry haul that I picked up from a lady locally on Facebook Marketplace. Everything you see tonight will be available in my Whatnot show on Saturday, June 17th at 4 p.m. If you're already on Whatnot, I hope you'll pop in and join me. If you're not on Whatnot, you can click the link in the description to this video get signed up. It'll give you 10 free dollars to spend anywhere you like on whatnot. And again, I hope you'll pop in and say hi. You can also find me on eBay, of course, on YouTube. I just made an Instagram. It is Vintage Gypsy 3. And you can join my Facebook group or follow me on Facebook. So, um, we're just going to go over this jewelry. Normally, I would have you email me if you're interested in anything you see in the video. But tonight, all of this stuff is actually going to be going in my whatnot show. So, if you're interested in anything, join me there. Um, you can still email me if you would like. That way, if it doesn't sell on whatnot, um, maybe you can pick it up. But so far, I've had really good luck selling things on whatnot. So, um, so let's get started. So I went ahead and laid um, everything out. Uh, so we're just going to pick stuff up and just go through it. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this. There was one piece that we'll go ahead and get out of the way. And she did disclose in the listing for this that it was missing some stones. And it's this gorgeous piece right here. And it is actually missing a stone there, there and there and that is really too bad because this is a gorgeous piece it is unmarked but it is still a gorgeous piece but so yeah it may still sell with with some stones missing but i don't know i may just put that in a vintage lot or a craft lot for someone else so next we have this amethyst and little gold tone bead necklace. It does have a barrel clasp, which is in very good condition. These are natural stone. And it is gorgeous. They're graduated stone. So that's a really nice piece. I'm really happy to have that. This piece here, um, I'm not sure that it's actually vintage. It could be, um, I don't think it's, it's as old as some of these other pieces. Some of these other pieces are from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I think this is more modern. And it is somewhat deceiving because it is marked 925 there. And it is also marked... 925 there but I am not finding that that is the case uh, let's see if I can find like here there's some discoloration on the chain and it actually looks to be brass underneath I will do some further testing on this and see but it just doesn't look this doesn't look sterling to me. It doesn't feel sterling. And I just really don't think it's sterling. But like I said, I will check it further. But just because it's stamped doesn't always mean it's real. You do have to check stuff. So either way, it's a really pretty necklace. It's a gorgeous necklace. It has a S-hook closure on it. And it's got these acrylic faceted cabochons in it and it is a pretty piece but definitely don't think it's sterling so next we have this thermoset bracelet and if you don't know thermoset is a type of plastic it does need some cleaning yeah that's coming off that'll come right off so I do need to go through and clean this stuff before I um, get it listed on whatnot but this is a thermoset bracelet and it is marked and let me show you guys that mark so it is Trafari 
and it has the crown over the T, and this is otherwise known as Crown Trafari. And this is one of the pieces that I actually bought the lot for. So I'm really excited about this piece. It has a fold over clasp. It does have a little wear on the back side, but it is still a very totally wearable, highly collectible piece. So I'm excited about this one. Next we have some brooches and these two are what you call jelly bellies. They're little frogs, and of course, obviously, you can see why they're called jelly bellies. They're both marked. This one is Les Bernard, and everything on it, well, let me check it before I say that. It's going to say everything on it is working, and in, yeah. So it is working, it's in good condition. Cute little eyes. He does appear to have a little bit of wear on the edges of his little toes, but very cute little piece. This is another Jelly Belly Frog. This one has pearl eyes. He also has just some little bit of wear. He is marked. Okay, I can't tell if that is saying Calvair or Calvape, but either one of them, I am not familiar with this them making this style of brooch. Calvape did more um, sterling and vermil stuff, which is sterling over gold for those that don't know. He did do some stuff with rhinestone, but I am just not familiar with him doing the jelly belly frogs. Now, Cal Calvair did do stuff that would be more in this style, but I am, again, not familiar with them doing this kind of jelly belly frog, so I'm not really sure. Maybe this is a little more rare piece. I'll have to do some digging on this to see, but both of these are great pieces. Then we have this little beetle. She has green eyes and a beautiful, beautiful blue enameled um, shell. And she's got little rhinestones all over her. They do all appear to be there. And I don't see a mark anywhere on this one yeah no that's not a mark but still a great little piece of jewelry very cute very cute little beetle so i'm really excited about the little bug brooches well the bug and the frogs um those generally do really well for me so next we have this little brooch it's a rose and it's got some little pearls and I believe that is just acrylic. Um, I think it's just acrylic. And I don't see a maker on this, but it's still a great little brooch. Love that. All right, next we have this little, um, what looks to be a child's bracelet. Um, I believe those are faux pearls. Yes, faux pearls, and it has a little tiny spring ring clasp, and that is for a little tiny wrist, and it has a little tiny etched locket. And there's nothing inside. Great little piece here. So, love that. All right, next we have a brooch with some faux pearls. Mm. I can't tell. It's got some dirt on it. I need to get that off. I can't tell if that's... 
I believe that's acrylic. It may be glass, but I believe it's acrylic. And we've got some AB rhinestones and oh, so this piece is 1928, which is a company that does reproductions of vintage jewelry. Yeah, I'm, hmm, I don't know, it feels kind of cold. I'm pretty sure that's acrylic though. Um, and how I can tell this is 1928 for the ones that don't know is this design on the back is um, on all their jewelry. That's kind of their trademark thing that they do. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe glass. It sounds like glass. So we'll see. I'll check it out some more, but all the stones are there. Even though it's not a true vintage broke, it is brooch. It is a replica, and it is a really nice piece. So excited about that too. This is another brooch that is also 1928. Again, there's that pattern, but it is still a beautiful brooch. And um, these actually do pretty well for me. Um, 1928 makes um really good jewelry it's very quality made and it is replicas you know of of vintage stuff so not bad pieces to have not true vintage but not bad pieces to have then we have a little um copper ring and it has three little tiny stones in it and some etching really cute little piece that would make a cool half ring and as you can see I love my little half rings so that's pretty cool I guess it was probably a child's ring at some point but nice little piece there all right let's keep going this chain does have some discoloration issues as you can see spring ring clasp and it does have a name oh whiting and davis too bad this is not in a little bit better condition because this is a great great maker um it's resells very well good quality jewelry um but it does have a little bit of condition issue so that's too bad on that all right next we have this bangle um hmm. okay the it is broken right here it is broken this looks like real silver to me. Um, let me give it a little scratch real quick. She didn't say that there was any silver in this lot. So I don't know. And I really don't remember this being part of the lot. So she may have just thrown this in. As something extra. Let's scratch it again. Just to make sure there's not a, a plating on there. So it's looking pretty good because I, I don't think that I could fix that. I don't think that it's fixable. And if you kind of, you know, soldered it shut, you wouldn't be able to get your, even with my small hands, there's no way I can get that off and on. So basically, as unfortunate as it is, this is pretty much scrap at this point if it is real silver. So let's check and see if it is. And as you can see, it turned blue. So that is testing positive for silver. So that's pretty cool. Um, I may look at this some more and see if there's any way to get that fixed. But I just don't, I don't think that there is. I think it's broken. So that's a pretty cool find though.
Um, is that dolphins? Or is it just little leaves? Maybe just little leaves, but that's a cool find. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so our next piece is this silver tone, and it's got this, like, brushed effect on the outside of it, and it is marked. Crown Trafari. So this is another good find, really cool piece. It's in excellent condition, and you've got to remember, I want to say that mark, without the copyright symbol is late 40s, early 50s. So again, another good find, especially considering the condition. It's in great condition. So I'm really excited about that piece. Next, we have a dress clip. I'm not... Is that a mark? Maker's mark? No. So I'm not seeing a mark on this. I'm not sure on the maker. Gorgeous piece, though. Definitely either glass or real stone. This has a really cool um, filigree open work detail on it these look brass hmm hmm let's see i'm just checking this really quickly because it kind of looks sterling to me So, I think this may be silver plated. Because I did get some, um, I did get some blue, but it was just little flakes. So, that means that the little bit of silver that was there flaked off. So that is silver plated. That's why it's got that tarnished look to it. Really cool piece. This would make a beautiful pendant. Definitely make a beautiful pendant. I love that. So that's another piece that we've got. This is another dress clip. Again, wait, is that a name? Hmm, I think that's a name. I was about to say I don't see a maker, but no, I think that's just scratches. And guys, all of this stuff needs to be cleaned. It's super dirty. And normally with super old pieces like this I just take a very soft um, dry toothbrush and just kind of try to clean it a little bit definitely the rhinestone stuff you don't want to get it wet um, so as I'm looking at this with the loop I thought the rhinestones were dead but what I'm seeing is these rhinestones were purple and then maybe they were painted and the color has come off. See that there? So I think they all used to be this light color purple and over time that color has just come off. This is still a great piece. It's beautiful. Um, but again, no maker. But it is well made. It looks like it's got some discoloration here and there. But there's no telling how old this piece is, guys. So it really looks good considering. Um, so that's a good piece. 
So we have a couple of rings. This is a gold tone. That's glass. Let's see if we see a maker. It does say something right there. I can't read that on the screen, guys. I don't know why I can never see anything on the screen. So, Whiting and Davis. So, this is a Whiting and Davis piece. And this one is in excellent, excellent condition. Very little wear on that ring. Beautiful piece. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. Very pretty ring. So I'm excited about that. That is in great condition. So that will be a really good piece for my whatnot sale. I'll clean the stone with just a little damp cloth and get all of that gook off and get her nice and pretty and shined up for the show. So I'm excited about that. So we have another ring. That is glass and rhinestone or CZ. I'm not sure. Okay, it does have a mark right there. And it says... Fourteen KTGS, which is gold shell. So that means that this is heavily gold plated. It's in excellent condition. Beautiful ring. And I'll have to check, but a lot of times these ring sizers are gold so I will definitely have to check this ring sizer because it didn't come with the ring so they may have put a gold ring sizer and it definitely looks gold so I will test that for sure all right my next two pieces are not really vintage but I knew they were in the lot and I thought they were gorgeous. And if you know who this maker is, then I won't even have to tell you whose um, jewelry this is. But for those of you that don't know, this is Betsy Johnson. These are highly faked, so you have to be careful and really do a lot of research and authenticate your pieces. Uh, we got a little crimp in the chain there but I may be able to fluff that back out the rest of the chain looks really good and there is the BJ and it should say Betsy Johnson yeah on the other side so beautiful piece I think that maybe is a swan I believe all the rhinestones are there as well it looks like it so excited about that piece this piece will not be in the vintage show so if you are interested in that just you can shoot me an e uh, email on that one vintage gypsy sells at gmail.com so this is another betsy johnson piece i'm gonna say this one is a peacock very pretty piece very nice um, the chain on this one looks in really good condition and let's check oh we got a little tangle let's get that out bear with me just a second guys okay so, we have, there is the BJ, and there is the Betsy Johnson on the other side. 
So again, not vintage, will not be in the what not sale this Saturday, but still a great piece and I'm very excited to have it. So, all right. So really quickly, I wanted to show you guys this set. This set also came in the vintage lot and it is two of these little um, containers that you can put powders or creams in and at one point it did have a um, little plastic insert in here that was threaded and these would screw on but I still think that they make great trinket boxes and there are two of them and they match this mirror so that is really cool hey guys so that is really cool. Totally, totally in love with this whole set of stuff that I got. I'm really happy with it. So just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, next we have this pair of crystal dangle screw back earrings. I don't see a maker but they're very cool check here just because sometimes they do mark there I do see a little bit of a little bit of wear on these but these are probably definitely late 40s early 50s probably late 40s on these so that's a good get right there so we have these super large crystal screw backs these are marked nemo so those are really cool then we have another pair of screw backs no, these are clips. I'm sorry. I don't see a maker on these. But again, really cool pair of clips. We have some more crystals. These need to be cleaned. They're not they're not blinging like they should cuz they're a little bit um a little bit dirty. But these are chandelier type drop dangle little crystal clip earrings. Very cool. And next we have these, but they don't match. I don't know if she realized that they didn't match or not, but they are both faceted um, hearts. I'm pretty sure they're crystals. And they're both pierced, but they are not the same. I thought maybe someone had added this because this broke, but even the balls are not the same. So these are from two totally different sets of earrings, which is okay. They could be turned into pendants or anything. And I got so many great pieces in this lot that that's minor. So we have another pair of crystal earrings. These have an AB coating on them. They are gorgeous. They are clip. And I don't see a maker on these. Check the other one. Always check both earrings because sometimes they only put the, um, the hall marks and maker's marks on one. So... I've encountered that quite a bit, actually. So those are a great pair. We have another pair that are very similar, but they're larger, just crystal flowers with AB coating. Again, I don't see a maker. Double check. Sometimes they put it under. And like I said, always check both no maker but that's fine they're still gorgeous gorgeous pieces um next 
these. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Wow. They are pin set crystals with an AB coating. Believe it or not, these beauties have no maker. That is unfortunate, but again, they're still stunning. And a lot of times what they would do is this stuff would come in sets. You would have maybe the earrings, brooch, and a bracelet, or earrings, brooch, and a necklace, or a brooch, necklace, earrings, you know. Um, and only one piece in the whole set would be marked. So I will definitely do some more research on these. I can tell that, sorry guys, back to what I was saying is sometimes only one piece in the set would be marked, but these are pin set, so I can tell that they are very well made and they're probably from a higher end designer. I mean, look at the, look at the sparkle on these things. They're gorgeous. Very beautiful. So let's turn those where we can see them. I love those. Wow, guys. All I can say about this is, wow, it is breathtaking. It is four strands of AB-coated crystals. Could you imagine this dripping around your neck? Like, this is stunning. They do not make stuff like this anymore. Very, very beautiful. Here's your clasp. Just a simple little hook with another little crystal. And I'm not seeing a maker on this, guys. And I actually feel like this hook itself has been replaced. It may have broken. So, um, but this is still a stunning, stunning piece. Beautiful piece of history here. Right here, guys. Probably my favorite piece in the lot. Even though I love the Thermoset um, Trafari bracelet, this necklace and these earrings have to be my two favorite pieces in the whole lot. So, now we have this set here. It is earrings and a necklace. These are clip. Oh, I've got one upside down. These are clip. And they've got these pretty little flowers with all of these little rhinestones. Some of them are AB coated. And these are little like little plastic petals. Very cute. I need to get these um, ear cushions off because they do have a little bit of verdigris. And we don't want that to spread to the rest of the earring or any of the other jewelry. So we'll get that off and we'll clean that with a little bit of ketchup and it'll be fine. Let's see if I, I don't see a mark on this one. Okay, let's look at this one. Like I said, always check both because sometimes they only mark one. Oh. So that is ART, A-R-T, with a copyright symbol. And if I am remembering correctly, I think that is something like Mode Art. And it was Arthur Pepper, possibly. Or it might be Alfred Pepper. Either Arthur or Alfred Pepper. And I want to say they started using that art with the copyright in 1955 through 1961 
a lot of people started using copyright symbol in 1955 because that's when it was created, copyright was. Before 1955 is where you see all of your patent pending or patented or pat pending jewelry is marked that way whenever it's prior to 1955 and after that is when people started using the copyright symbol. So there's your little FYI. This is in gorgeous condition. It looks like everything is there. I love the little rosettes that have the pearls with the rhinestone on the inside. That is gorgeous. My only complaint with this that I noticed is there is some major discoloration on this chain. But it is from 1955 and someone probably loved this a lot and wore it a lot. Um, the back side is in really good condition so um, that might could be touched up with someone's pin or just a whole new chain put on it all together because both sides have some heavy discoloration let's see if we see a marking on the back of it yeah so there again is the ART the copyright symbol and I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's Arthur Pepper. Um, so, very cool. Very cool pieces. I did get one more piece. Um, but it's a um, cloth. beaded um, like collar and it has some condition issues as well as far as the the front side you know all the beading is still there it's in really good condition as far as that the back of it is a little bit dirty it that is probably <laughs> That is probably very old sweat marks, to just be honest about it. So, um, and then it's got some rust around the latch, and the rest of the latch is missing. So, other than that, this thing is in excellent condition. It's probably hand beaded. Let's see what that little patch says. So it says handmade, a top hit fashion, Bar E Beards Inc. Japan. I was trying to tell, is that Bar E or Bar E? I guess it's Bar E. I've never heard of that place, so I'll have to look it up. But it is a cool piece. It's just got, you know, the staining and then the clasp is broken. But all of the beadwork is beautiful and it is all still there. So um, that's the lot, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope to pick up a lot more lots like this. I do have a um, sterling silver lot coming in either tomorrow or the next day. And so I, I may do a sterling silver jewelry haul. And... Um, go over that with you guys because I do have a sterling silver show coming up on whatnot on July 1st but if you see this in time don't forget whatnot June 17th Saturday 4 p.m. Vintage Gypsy come check it out all of this and more there's so much more guys there's so much more that's going to um, be for sale during that show. Um, come see me. See you next time, guys. Bye.